Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. First trip of the year. Really excited to finally get back out. Haven't been on the boat for a month. Feels real good. So today we're going for herring. There's a herring spawn in the San Francisco Bay and we're trying to stock up for bait for pretty much the rest of the year. Load the freezer up with these things. You can use them for uh, the halibut when that starts here pretty soon in the spring. Uh, you can use it for rockfish, sling cod, crab bait, uh, the salmon mooch could probably work for that. Uh, so yeah, excited to get some herring. But I've never done it before and I want to go out with someone who's done it before. And so what we're doing is we're picking up Nick Fish, another YouTuber here in the Bay Area. He catches these things all the time, many years past, and uses them for bait. So uh, excited to learn from him how to do it. I see him on the dock right now. I'm a little late and that's because I forgot I needed to get a new fishing license. <laughs> in the middle of the night, I'm like, oh crap, I need to get a fishing license. So I went down to Bodega Tackle today in uh, Petaluma and picked one up. Uh, we got our Sturgeon and Steelhead card, so excited for this year to come. You guys comment below, what do you guys want to see me catch this year? What kind of trips do you want me to do? Um, I'm trying to hopefully change things up from just the halibut, the salmon, and the crab. Uh, so yeah, give me some ideas and uh, yeah, maybe we'll do them. All right, here's Nick right here. One of the things I don't like about my boat is the only way to get in the front is you got to unbutton everything. <laughs> he jumped in this boat so he can get in the side of mine here. How do you want me to do this? Just grab the pole? Probably. Okay. I'll just... All right. Ready to get some herring? Let's do it, dude. They're here. I know. I saw all the boats. Yeah. Oleg's already on his way home. Yeah, TLA got his limit too. What's the limit? Uh, 100 pounds or two five-gallon buckets. Um, okay. Two five-gallon buckets is 100%. Uh, I'm not sure exactly about the 100 pounds. That's what I heard though. Yeah. So this is our first uh, time fishing together? Yeah, we went on the charter boat with Max. Right, that's what I knew we fished together. So charter uh, boats. Fairlawns. Right. But Nick and I, we've hanged out a few times over the last year playing some poker. Uh, but yeah, first time on the boat. Welcome aboard. Thank you, thank you. We're going to get them today. That's right. So uh, Nick. He's a kayak expert, and what he does is uh, he takes people out, guided trips, um, so they don't need to have their own kayak, or they could have their kayak. Yeah. You provide everything, rods, and yeah. So I provide everything: kayaks, fishing gear. Um, you could also bring your own kayak if you want to learn some new spots or dial in a certain type of fish. And then you're kind of going it. for all the different species, whatever's really biting. So halibut yeah. starting soon. Yeah. He's really good at catching in, those. Uh, I don't know how you always get those 40 inchers. <laughs> if you're marking anything on your fish finder, um, we've been getting them right here. Uh, the way you tell where the herring are is by the seals. Um, they're kind of a better, yeah, see, that's it. Right there, those squiggly sideways things, that's all herring right there. So, not yep. uh, algae? No, that's herring. Do you want to just throw one? Um, yeah, and plus these seals, they really tell you where they are. So we'll let Nick just throw we, we first, should. see if we find, he finds yeah. some. There, there's some right there, maybe. Oops. Oh, you got one. Well, that's what we're going for. He got one on the first pool. The first. We marked them on the graph, guys. Backed up. So that's what we the herring look like. That's a perfect size on that there. Perfect. Um, we lost them. Okay, yeah, let's just go to the spot where they're getting them. Yeah. We can get a hundred in one throw. Exactly. All right, well, you know, we're marking some here, but it'll take longer versus just going to where we've heard there's just, I guess probably what, millions of them over there? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh yeah, it's so thick. So right now we're in January and this this goes what February as well? Yeah, so my birthday's February first, so that's yeah. kind of when I I can kind of remember the dates. Yeah. And on my birthday, February first, I got my biggest spawn of the year. Okay. So that's pretty coming up. That's coming up. Yeah. Um and then also in March. Okay. I got a big spawn in March too. It's thick from like 14 no, 10 feet now to 18 feet. So we're 18 feet of water. Keep going a little bit and then it's turn. Like 
like this. Yep, yep, yep. You get they're really close up to the wall. Yeah, they're really close to the wall. Turn, turn to the right. Go, it's getting a little thinner. Oh yeah, I got him. So as we approach the spot here, Nick's already gotten some fish. Well, I want to prep the boat so that it doesn't get too messy. I brought some extra towels that will lay in the rails here and a lot of buckets to help get all the fish in as we drop them down. I heard that it makes the boat really messy from all the sperm, eggs, and scales that they're going to splatter across the whole boat. <laughs> and here we go. The fun started. It looks like Nick got a good pull right here. All right, let me get my first throw out. Look how janky mine is. That'll work, actually. No, no, I, I watched a little video on how to do it. Oh, that's America. Okay. I go like this. It's okay for me to stand on this, right? Yeah. I'm pretty small, so... Go ahead. Oh, no, I did bad. I did it. No, I did it wrong though. Oh my god, I even got him still there. Oh, yeah. Nice one. I caught some of my first really bad throw. How do I do this again? Do it, Chris. Forget how to do it now though. Oh, that was alright. Oh yeah, jeez. This must be thick. Oh baby. So this net is like a beginner's net, but it's working for me. Check All out right. this throw, guys. Loaded. Oh my gosh, big one. Oh. oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, I just made Chris's job 20 times harder. Catching him is the easy part, guys. We got so close I had to get out so the yeah. boat doesn't get damaged. Oh yeah, that's gonna be your best thing. And uh we're like three halfway done. Alright, this is gonna be my last throw. Just pretend like this was your throw. There you go. All right, here goes my last throw. Ugh. Damn. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Ha, ha, ha.
Yeah, we got a picture of myself. Here, stop wiggling. <laughs> All right, start dropping it. Oh, it won't open there so much. <laughs> All right, we're done. done. I actually want to fill up one more block. I don't know, what do you think? No, you I don't need, you can have as many as you want, basically. I want to make sure I go home with a limit. You can have a lot. I don't. Okay. This is insane, dude. Okay. Love it when the plan works out, Chris. Yeah, dude. Shit, that was efficient. Pick me up. Bam. Bam. <laughs> done. Drop me off. Yeah, camera's I 20, on. I have 26 on mine. Yeah, 22 minutes, 20 seconds. My camera was on for. That was quick. That's. That's fine. One. And, uh, oh yeah, we got a limit. That's good. And you just take all that then. You happy with that? Yep, I'm good. Then I'll dump mine in there. You wanna just dump those in there and that's how I'll bring mine home. And here's the lid for it. We're about to drop Nick back off of the dock right now. Uh, remember, check out his YouTube channel, Nick Fish. Um, I'll also have in the uh, description of this video his contact information uh, if you want to go on a guided uh, kayak trip with him. And he's just a really knowledgeable fisherman of the area, so if you're trying to learn how to fish in the Bay Area, follow this guy. Thank you guys and thank you Chris. Well done man, that was efficient. That's right, that's right. One of the most efficient days I've ever had. It was. You, I, like, you like that we're both wearing our Akuma jackets today? These things are great for uh, this kind of fishing. It washes off real easy. Definitely. Warm. If you guys are interested in a kayak trip, uh, hit me up, mention Chris's name, and I'll give you $50, $50 off your next trip. Thanks, guys. All right, well, we caught those herrings so quick, 22 minutes. Now the hard part's gonna begin. We have to clean the boat and then process all the fish. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll see you back at the dock. Most launch ramps are going to have a place for you to wash down your boat, get all the salt off. Near my house, there's a pressure washer, a buck a minute. We're going to go there to clean out the inside of the boat, spray off all the scales and eggs and sperm. All right, we're at the pressure washer now. They have this brush, so we'll go ahead and get in there and brush this boat clean. They got a soap feature. Well, we'll spray it down. Let's get to work. See all those bumps? Those are all the eggs. Even with the pressure washer, I couldn't get them off. I'm gonna have to scrape them off with a rag or something. It's harder to get two spots. But for now, we'll uh, get back to the house and we'll process these fish. All right, see you guys there. All right, well, I got my kids here with me to help me sort all the herring. So we're gonna basically go small, medium, large. Set them all on the table here. Oh. All right, you ready to get started, Ben? Sometimes I mean do. Or, I wish Mom could help us. You think she would like this job? No. You think we like this job? That's a medium one, Ben. Yeah, it slipped on my hand. This is medium. You like this job right now. Okay, Dada. Thank you, Ben. You can just grab the. Yeah. All right, you want to drink the milk in here? <laughs> all right thank you for your help you can go inside all right well those are all the herring now time to start putting them in some sealed bags so this is what i've made up so far all these different trays different amounts in each one uh, so we're putting about 10 or 20 into each bag so what i'm doing is 
Uh, this one will probably be good for about, uh, we'll put 12 in here. All right, so we're sealing one end of the bag. Then just go ahead and put these guys in there. One on either side. Like so. Go ahead and put this one in the pile and it's on to the next one. Definitely a lot of work, but gonna save a lot of money having all these herring. So now we're looking at the large ones. I got all the small ones bagged up, kind of in tray form for the halibut trolling. But for the really big ones, I'm just gonna throw them in a bag and we're gonna be using these ones for link cod or you know rockfish um, once that season opens up again. So with these ones, we can kind of just keep them whole like this. Don't have to take as good care of them uh, for that type of fishing. And then we'll just throw them in this bag. Well, the table is empty. We've got everything bagged up. So what we have here is these bags are all the bigger ones for uh, rockfish and link cod. we got medium size, uh, kind of what we did, tray bait, smaller size tray bait. Got a lot of those. And this bag is gonna be just like crab bait. These are all the ones that were kind of like not the right shape or um, had a lot of scales missing or whatnot. So yeah, exciting day, fun fishing out there with uh, Nick Fish, getting all these herring. Um, get in the video now, stay tuned for the videos coming up where we use these for bait and catch a bunch of different variety of fish from out here. So uh, stay tuned for those videos. Give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys.